بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Now for EHRP neighborship to establish we also need to make sure that the opposite interfaces must be on the same subnet like here in my example let's say if i am uh, verifying the neighborship between the router 3 and the router 4 and if these two are not on the same subnet then you know the router it, it's going to simply ignore the hello packets so even though both the interfaces are being advertised but if they are not on the same subnet then whatever the hello message sent by the opposite router it will be simply ignored okay so for ehrp neighborship to establish the router router interfaces facing each other must be on the same subnet so in my case let's say on the router 3 and the router 4 there is some issue here so what i'll do is we'll try to fix the neighborship between the 3 and 4 so in my case the router 3 is supposed to establish the neighborship with router 4 so already it is establishing with router 2 but not with router 4 now the possible issues we'll try to verify whether the interfaces we'll try to verify the previous things so confirm that the neighbor interface is up right that's the first thing we'll try to ensure that the interface is up and you need to have a reachability to the opposite interface so as per my topology it is 3.3.3.2 but i don't have reachability to the remote interface and let's go to router router 4 check the interface status but again the issue is not with the interface interface status is up but you can see the ip address is different it's okay let me just confirm whether i'm able to ping to this file or not there's no reachability to that as well now why because the reason is simple if you go and verify the interface configuration so here you can see it is 3.3.3.1 in fact i in the in the diagram it is slash 8 but it is 3.3.3.1 slash 30 and here 3.3.3.5 slash 30 so as per the slash 30 subnet the range of addresses will be from 0 to 3 which means 1 and 2 are valid addresses and anything after 4 will be will become different subnet right so that is that is a problem here so in my case this is 3.3.3.1 and if you verify on the router 4 it is 3.3.3.5 and they are using slash 30 mask which means they are on a different subnet so again as i said i have inserted these issues so that we can parallelly verify uh, how it's going to be so in my case the problem is different subnet so what what i need to do i need to fix it by changing the ip so i'm going to router s1 by 0 on the router 4 i'll change this to 3.3.3.2 because when I change it to 3.3.3.2, it will become on the same subnet. So we'll try to configure the same IP. Of course, it has to be different from the same range. And let's confirm whether the advertisements are okay or not. Because uh, advertisement seems to be okay, which means if everything is okay, I should be able to see the neighborship between these two. So let's let's view show IP EHRP interfaces to confirm the this side. So what I'll do is I'll try to simply flap that interface. Shut down in no shutdown to start to make the interface up. And if there are no other issues, what we discussed, then the neighborship should come up. Let me try to ping to the opposite interface now. We do have reachability. And here, I think if there are any other issues, yeah, 
So here yeah, still there are some few other issues like on the router side. Show IP interface brief and you can see the interface is still, it's up now. And I'll try to confirm whether this interface is advertised or not. I think it is not advertised. Maybe I missed this one. So already we have seen the advertisement issues. Now you can see the interface is not advertised here. Network 3.3.3.1 advertising that interface. So now you can see the router 3 and the router 4 are forming the neighborship. So mostly if you are enabling some kind of logging, then this is how the log message appears. Because uh, in the log messages, you will see that the EHRP, whatever the 100 AS number, uh, whatever the interface it is connecting to is blocked because they are not on the same subnet. So in case if you see something like this, a log message, or if you are enabling a debug commands at the backend, debug EHRP packets, then probably you can observe these log messages in the backend. But mostly, you know, it's a kind of simple issue where you might have given a wrong IP, uh, not in the same subnets. That is again troubleshooting kind of IP addressing configurations. But at the end, if there is no proper IP address configuration, then that will also impact the EHRP routing in our case here as well. 